Hey everybody, welcome into Star Wars Republic, our show here on the Arena Productions about all things Star Wars. So of course, our uh, episode 5 breakdown of Andor, we're going to be talking about Andor in this episode. So before we start, of course, I am your host and I am the founder of the Arena Productions, of course, um, Expat, along with my co-hosts, Burley of Burleyman Gaming and Turnbase Carl. So how you guys doing? Doing great? Yeah. Yes, it's, you know I'm I'm recovering from a, my my cold, but yeah. gotta tell you I'm I'm very happy to be here talking about this show and not yeah. the last time I did one of these, which was uh, Boba Fett. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. The huge difference between these two. Okay, yeah. So, oh yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah. Uh, welcome to, of course, Carl for our his first episode here on Andor, obviously. So. Uh, we're going to do a breakdown of the episode, but before we do, uh, of course, I want to let all of you viewers know that this is a spoiler-filled uh, breakdown episode of uh, Andor. So uh, if you have not watched the episode yet on Disney+, Plus, please go and uh, watch the episode and then come back and enjoy our breakdown video here. So uh, so anyway, episode five. And uh, of course, Carl, we'll, we'll let you talk about you know how you felt about the first four episodes, obviously. Oh. But uh, you know, before but, you change this slide, I don't know how quickly you're going to. Yeah. I want to say that right there, that little yeah. that thing he's holding is a, it's a, Polaroid. a great example of what yeah. I love about this show because that is a great prop. I, yeah, it's a great Polaroid camera. Know. Yeah. <clears throat> it it is does look like it's somehow, yeah, modified. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Burley, do you know did you I know what know Polaroids? It? Oh, okay, you know yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say it was probably before. Carl, probably during your time. I, I had a Polaroid, right? yeah. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. So anyway, When I was okay. young, I had a Polaroid. So we're all good on that. So anyway, yeah, so the Polaroid made into <laughs> like a uh, futuristic prop there. So uh, anyway. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at parts of this episode. So obviously, you know, uh, we got Andor here, and uh, he's a part of this group now. And uh, on Aldani, and uh, he's still hiding his past from his fellow rebels. And so obviously some of them like the one here in this image does not trust him. Yeah. So uh, what did you guys think of uh, the kind of the, of course uh, the kind of the relationships I would, I would say, I guess, between them at the moment, uh, probably not so great. <laughs> A lot of mistrust between them. Uh, what did you guys think of uh, these uh, scenes on Aldani? Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed it. It was just, uh, you've, you've got, the, you can understand why they have the mistrust. You've got a guy that just came in, what, two days ago? They've got this mission that's within a couple days. They've been prepping for how long? You've got a new guy joined in. They don't trust him. He's not forthcoming with all his information and his backstory and all that. Yeah. And, so, and he's questioning how they have things planned and be like, well, how come we don't have this plan? Why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. So you can understand there's going to be tension. Yeah. yeah, this guy is a great example of, of why I think the show is incredible because he is like this. His conflicts, his his reasoning, his emotion, it all feels like a real person, like a real character in, in a real world. Yeah, and and um, this guy, this guy's this guy's a good actor too. I, I like him a lot. I've seen him in. Uh, he was in Girls. I don't know if you saw that on HBO. Mm -hmm. And he was in uh, Punisher, actually. If you saw the Netflix Punisher. Yeah. Yeah. He was, yeah. Punisher. Yeah. He was really good in that, too. Yeah. And and what's really, uh, you know, between this character and Andor, I mean, what they have in common is this, you know, the, this situation with the Empire has affected both of their families, obviously. Yeah. And uh, you get as you get to know this person. Yeah. So. I think it's a bit of like rivalry, jealousy, sort of. They both seem to be maybe on the same level. Mm -hmm. And he knows, I mean, he seems, he seems to know that because he knows, he realizes that Cassian like recognizes his tattoos. Like they mean something to him. And he knows that means yeah. that this guy, this guy knows his stuff. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And then obviously we get, uh, <laughs> the, the of course the uh intelligence uh you know guy that uh, goes home to his mom obviously uh gets slapped in the face by his mom then gets a hug and then goes in and uh 
And then obviously gets the uh, perp or what is it? The blue milk, the blue milk cereal. Oh, yeah. The cereal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, and of course the mother is you know trying to you know talk him into you know some getting some favors to maybe try to help him with work, in a sense. But uh, I don't know what what do you think of his situation at the moment? So he's obviously he's in his uh, mother's apartment in Coruscant and. Uh, it's interesting how you see the two scenes in the episode. One scene, if you look in the in the opposite room, you see the robot has like a kind of like a towel put on its head. But then in the second scene later on in the episode where they're sitting in opposite positions, like in their little mini kitchen there, it's like you see in the other room, the robot's still in the same position, but he doesn't have the the, the thing on his head anymore. So, but uh what did what did you think of uh, the, his situation at the moment? Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I didn't expect this to be the direction for this character, mm-hmm. uh, but I love it because, mm-hmm. like, it, again, it makes sense. Like, it, he failed miserably. He, he did he did the he yeah. did what he wasn't supposed to do. That the other guy in, in the mm-hmm. meeting told him, like, do this, you know, just yeah. let it go. And but he he went hard on it and. Uh, you know, you could argue that he, maybe you should be doing what he what he did, but he failed. So <laughs> he ends up not having a job, and now he's kind of like feels like a loser. And this whole thing with his mom, I'm like I, I I didn't think this would be something in a Star Wars show. And I'm like, but like this is great. This is you know you're you're building. I think what they're doing is building a villain here. At least uh, maybe yeah. he could turn heroic. That's possible too. Yeah. Um, but it's it's really good character development. Yeah. And these new like, uh, you know, like career opportunity type of things that a mother, his his mother was bringing up to him. It'll be interesting to see if he follows through <laughs> on any of those or not. Early on, I thought yeah. he might become an Imperial, you know, but I don't know if that is going to happen at this point because of what, you know, how, how, how they look at him. But mm-hmm. it could still you never know. <clears throat> yeah. I, I I like that. I love that with uh, him and his mom, the dynamic between them. Mm-hmm. I, I, I feel I agree with you, Carl. I think they're going to build him as a villain. Whether or not he's going to become it in the first, because this is like, you're getting like, what is it, 18 episodes of this? Uh, it's two seasons, 12 each. Yeah. yeah 12. Whether or not he'll, I think they'll do the slow build with him for this season, and next yeah. season he'll come back he'll be a villain whether or not he'll be a competent villain or not we'll have to see but yeah. I'm, I'm interested to see where where they're going to take this character i want i wonder if he's going to have any kind of communication with this particular imperial intelligence officer who is obviously you know kind of a ladder climber in a sense and uh, she's mm-hmm you know, really, uh, you know, working her way up the ladder. And, uh, you know, she's she seems to be really, really diligent, you know, in in the the cases when it comes to uh, the rebels. Uh, So I'm wondering if they'll actually hook up at some point in the series. But uh, I don't know. What do you what do you feel about this character, Carl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I love this this aspect of the show again. Uh, The we're seeing the Imperial, you know, officers sort of like, bicker back and forth and, and argue fight over you know their their territories right and and, and them all kind of wanting to i guess like move up the ladder like you said yeah yeah um <clears throat> and it's the stuff that i've always wanted to see in a star wars show is just to like see how the empire works yeah right? see how they maintain order see how they yeah. uh even fail at it right in the show like in the early in, in the show like how they had this other security group like covering this area and, and now yeah. through what happened they're realizing like this is we can't do that we just yeah. take more control you know yeah the isb yeah yeah and then of course we get uh, the scenes with mon mothma and especially in this episode man i mean uh, uh actually i don't remember her name but the the girl that plays the daughter she was in Game of Thrones, I think, um, in season eight. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, she was one of the girls that uh, was working with uh, Varys to try to poison Daenerys, I think. I think she was the the younger girl at that time. So uh, kind of one of the whisperers, I guess. Uh, 
the little whisperers, you know, so, uh, but anyway, she's grown up more now, but I mean, this scene, you know, with her, you know, the typical teenager type of situation, you know, we were supposed to go to this, you know, this place together. And so get your stuff, we're leaving, you know, and she's like, no, you know, I'm not going with you, you know, and, and then it's like the husband, you know, the husband doesn't, you know, you know, support Mon Mothma at all in this situation. He's just like, oh, well, you know, you, you know, you can go if you want, you know, or, you know, it's, it's up to her. Yeah, he doesn't care, you know. So, I don't I know. What really, did you think of that scene, guys? Yeah. I'm I'm very curious about this relationship. And the yeah, husband seems yeah. very aloof, like he's like, right, ah, right, whatever, exactly. I don't yeah. care. I don't know if it's maybe they're trying to sell like this. They're this like very wealthy Coruscant family. He's just like whatever. I, I'm a rich guy. I'm <laughs> I'm comfortable. Like I don't really have problems. Like maybe that's his angle. Yeah, you know, or maybe it's something more, right? Maybe he's maybe he's like a spy, right? He's spying he could on be, her, yeah, yeah, right. Because she she does have that implication at the point. She's like, you know, anyone could be following. They changed my driver. You know, I don't know what's yeah. happening. Or that could be someone I can't yeah. trust. You know. I yeah, and I that. and I really enjoyed the scene in the uh, in the car. You know, like uh, going through, of course, flying to the yeah. location and everything. That was really cool. You know, so and dude, again. Okay, costume design like this. This costumes that we're seeing in Coruscant, like what this guy's wearing, the daughter and Mon Mothma. I'm like, this is awesome. I love these interesting like styles, like this very like <laughs> you know wealthy aristocrat like futury clothing that we're seeing. I mean, you can see it. It definitely seems like the Jedi stuff was was uh, influenced by this, or they or vice versa. I don't know, but like probably the Jedi style, like robe style, was influenced by this course on something or like you said maybe the other way uh, there's yeah. a similarity in that styling of like what they're wearing yeah and ryan uh, here of course yeah the, of course his anxiety the, over the transmissions at the end yeah. of the episode there yeah so the mm -hmm. car that you mentioned like again yeah. again incredible like it's it's a yeah. i don't know it's, though i call that a proper set because it's so big but like yeah it was like a real thing like they're sitting in like they built that looks fucking awesome <laughs> yeah <incredible>. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. So anyway, yeah, of course, uh, you know, we have uh, Ryle here and uh, he's worried about the mission. He's, you know, trying to to get a transmission from them, of course, and uh, nothing comes through at the end. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I just love his character as well. You know, this, uh, you know, guy who's like an antique dealer, but he's, you know, trying to uh, help recruit, you know, future, you know, rebels. So, uh yeah, it's pretty cool. What do you think of this, Burley? Uh, I really, I'm really liking it. You know, I like it. I get it. He's he's so nervous because he know he hasn't heard anything, and he just yeah. put someone new into this mission and doesn't know how how it's going. He can't tell. Yeah, you can tell he kind of wants to help, but he knows he there's nothing he really can do. Yeah. So he is just antsy, and he knows uh, he he wants to go check, but he knows if he goes down there to go check himself, mm -hmm. it's going to be a risk to the mission. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you think of uh, the lieutenant? Uh, what is it, Lieutenant Gorn? I think it is, uh, and his situation. You know, the woman was saying to Andor, the reason why he he joined the cause was because of his family or something. You know, and uh, you know. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, the mission is going to succeed or fail. I mean, it, 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 the thing about this series that I really like so far is like the first three episodes. It's kind of like it's going in chunks where it's like yeah. the first three episodes were like the build up with, you know, the ISB and, you know, on, on the, of course, that other planet and, and building up Andor's backstory, you know, which and then, of course, culminated at the end of the, the third episode with the, you know, the, these agents looking like bumbling idiots and all. Uh, and then, of course, the next three episodes, it looks like have, are building up to this, you know, this big the, the mission that they're going to be doing, you know, on uh, Aldani, you know, uh, and the, the next episode this coming week is probably going to be the mission itself. So building up to that mission. But uh, I don't know if this lieutenant you know, so so-called Lieutenant, I guess is going to be able to, you know, to pull through on this. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? 
you know, something uh, like, I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, I don't. I could see this mission not going the way the way it was planned, mm -hmm. and there's going to be a failure mm -hmm. of some sort. Whether they like, it may be a failure, but they succeed mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. some part. Like they don't fully defund, but they take a lot out, so it does hurt the empire. Yeah, it'll be. It, it's going to be interesting to see. And like you said, I like that they're doing this in chunks. They're let, taking time for the story to breathe and just go instead mm -hmm. of we need to rush, we need to have action, we need to show 15 stormtroopers in this episode. Gotta say, show this, show this, show this for mm -hmm. a nostalgia checklist. No, they're taking their time and letting things breathe, which I love. Yeah, yeah, definitely Carl? stuff stuff's gonna go wrong, but you know, and I, I there's that great scene with um where they're the two of them are asking Andor, like, so uh how do you decouple this uh, train from this thing or something? Right, he's right. Like, you don't know. It's yeah, like, you don't know. Do yeah. Like, what were you gonna do without me? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. stuff's gonna go down for sure. And uh, I yeah. do like the the guy, Lieutenant. I love the aspect of the like them showing that like the Empire. You know, there's so many people who hate the Empire for various yeah. reasons, and there are people within the Empire who hate the empire because they've been screwed by it because this is what happens when you have that type of you yeah. know, regime. Right. Yeah. And it, yeah, as far as the breaking up of the show, I mean, I love the, like the first three, I totally understand why they dropped it that way. And I, yeah. I do wonder if there was um, some sort of uh, um, like screen testing that mm -hmm. feedback that they got that made yeah. them decide to do the three together because originally the show was going to come out earlier. Yeah. They never said it was going to be three and then they delayed it. And they're like three episodes here at once. Yeah. So I'm a, I feel like that may have happened because the first three together, like mm -hmm. if you watch just the first one, you might be like, all right, that was cool. But like, yeah. there's not a lot, Yeah. but watching the three of them closer together, like, mm -hmm. all right, that was act one of right. like your traditional three act structure. Yeah. And, and this is act two that we're in now. So. Yeah. And like now yeah. we're in the meat of it. And like yep. you got to, you know, watching those three together, you're like, all right, that was like a little mini like movie that got me to like, all right, now I see where Andor is going. And now I understand who he is. And now I'm ready to see what he's going to do. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting uh, of these, you know, the, these characters are going on this mission. If, if there's a turncoat in there somewhere. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Could be. I hope not, man. I like these Hope guys. not. Yeah. I like this yeah, kid. I, I love this kid who's like, he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, the other guy is like describing him like, oh, he's all in. Like, he's yeah. 100% like for the cause. Like, he's a zealot type guy. <laughs> like, he's, yeah. and, he, and, he, and he's just rambling on about all this stuff. And he's got like that, that book, you know, he's writing like this sort of manifesto. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. good characters, man. Really good. Yeah. Good character. I, but I, I don't know. I This this is just my prediction. I think he's going to be dead by the end of next uh, episode. Yeah. yeah. I hope it's not. Really but yeah. It's possible. I, yeah. I would feel bad. Man. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I think, I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, who knows? But uh, yeah, and, you know, and, and we talked about this. I mean, uh, about Andor, what what I really love about this so far is there's no lightsabers, there's no Jedi's, you know, in this. You know, it's you know, uh, you don't need it. But but I'll tell you it. what, yeah. I want a I want a Jedi show like this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I want a Jedi show that like spends time on like building characters and. And you know, building out maybe, the world. Maybe Ahsoka will be that yeah. series. We shall see. And, you know, building intrigue and building tension. You yeah. know, instead of just like spilling it all out in front of your face and going to the yeah. well of like the same crap over and over. Like Kenobi yeah. is just like, let's just repeat all the hits. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I, I just uh, I, I think we're not gonna get any Darth Vader in this series. So uh, yeah. please yeah, we, we 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 don't need Darth Vader. We don't need, we don't need yeah. We don't need Palpatine as much as I'd like to see Palpatine. Well, we're going to see when Palpatine's we saw... advisor because, yeah, he, you know, that dinner or, you know, that they're supposed to have, you know, with the husband that the husband put together, that that advisor is supposed to be at that at that, you know, function. So who knows? But but probably, uh, you know, no Palpatine. though. So, yeah. Yeah. 
All right. So that's been our episode five breakdown of, of course, Star Wars and or. So we hope to catch you in the next episode when it drops, when we do our breakdown of it. So I've been your host, Expat, along with my co-hosts, Burley and Carl. Yeah. So this has been Star Wars Republic, our uh, show about all things Star Wars here on the Arena Production. So we hope to catch you in the next one. So take care, everyone. Peace out. Thank you.